Thank you very much, Governor Mudomi Njuki. Your Excellency, a lot has been said and I will not repeat all the things that have been said. But when we got the phone call from His Excellency, the Deputy President, that you were coming, and there was going to be a Thanksgiving service, Your Excellency, I got together the clergy at the governor's residence and uh, we deliberated on how we will um, have a joint effort to ensure we have a successful day today. And therefore, Your Excellency, first and foremost, I would like to sincerely from the bottom of my heart thank the clergy for putting together this service despite the so short, very short notice and working very hard for the last four days, day and night, to make this service a success. Asante Nisana. <laughs> Your Excellency, when we met them, they gave me a few requests to present to you, and that is why I'm carrying a booklet. It is not um, in vain. It's not things that I have just thought out of my head, but there are some things we deliberated and they requested that I bring them to your attention. They are simple things, Your Excellency. Things that, as I always say, ukinena tu, by tomorrow, probably most of this will be sorted out. The first one, Your Excellency, they said the process of registering Christian marriages is very lengthy. And um, for young people or older people who want to go through the process of getting married uh, in the church, and to get the certification, the process is a lot longer and more tedious than other marriages. They are requesting, Your Excellency, if you could instruct your office, the AG's office, to look into that issue. <laughs> your Excellency, the second thing they said is that they are law-abiding citizens as a clergy, and they abide with the law. However, there is a requirement by the law that they should file annual returns by churches, which they very much support. The only impediment is that the clergy have to file these annual returns in Nairobi. So they have to leave Kirinyaga. Those in Nyeri will have to leave Nyeri. The other ones coming from the other counties have to leave their counties to go and file the annual returns in Nairobi. This is a very simple request. If possible, Your Excellency, if you're willing, you can put a desk at the Huduma Center here in Kirogoya so that they don't have to travel very far. And it will ease the burden of filing annual returns. The third, Your Excellency, is that they said they are very happy that you understand evangelism, you understand their role in uniting the people, and I would like you, Your Excellency, to support them with a missions tent, which they could be using when they are carrying out various missions across the county, and even when they go to other counties, so as to reduce the cost of preaching the gospel. Your Excellency, as a believer, I'm sure you know that by doing that, you will be fulfilling your own mission that Christ has given you to contribute to reaching to the corners of the world. So we're very grateful, Your Excellency, and we know that you will do that. The final one from the clergy, Your Excellency, is that they said that uh, they've always had a place which had been designated but is not theirs and uh, is not permanent where they gather together as a clergy of Kirinyaga to pray, to fast, to retreat and listen to the voice of God. Your Excellency, they have had you going elsewhere in other counties and making some commitments or other in need to meet the needs of the clergy in those regions. For this Kirinyaga County, they have requested, Your Excellency, that they would really really want to have a retreat center of their own 
a place where they can meet and pray and listen to the voice of God. Your Excellency, on this one, mimi ni mtu mdogo sana, lakini nitakusukuma kidogo. I have committed to them that uh, we will give them the land for the retreat center. And if we do that, then you, Your Excellency, wajenge your retreat center. So that way, halfway, I think we'll have achieved what the clergy would have wanted. I actually requested that they do this themselves, but they said, please, you're our governor. When you're there, kindly make this request. Your Excellency, on to governance and political matters. We also, when we were preparing for you to come, we met with the county leadership. We met with the elected leaders, and we agreed on quite a number of things, but many of which I will not talk about today because those are things that we will talk in other forums when we go to the deputy president's office, when we go to the minister's office. But I'll just mention very quickly the ones that are pertinent and that need your attention. Your Excellency, today we are taught Thanksgiving. Na tunakushukuru sana kwa ile pesa ulitupatia ya canals. Tulipata barua kutoka kwa ofisi yako, 400 million. Na NIB was instructed to start taking necessary action. Sisi kwa upande wetu, we promised you 200 million. In this year's budget, I put 100 million. And in July, I'll put another 100 million so that we can have reached the 600 to make sure the canals in the rice farms where we have extended zitafika na maji tafikia wakulima wote wa mchele kule mwea. Your Excellency, kitu ambayo ilibaki na nilisa house kuhiyo ni ya kwamba compensation ilifanywa kwa wakulima wa mwea ambao wako kwa main canal. Lakini wakulima ambao walipeana parts za shamba zao for the feeder canals hawakupewa compensation. So that one I thought it is an important issue and I would like to request your excellency that uh, your government looks into it and NIB looks into it so that as we go to build these canals we don't face any challenges with the farmers. The second issue your excellency is an issue of a project you supported us to get when you were deputy president and that is the uh, water and sewerage project under the African Development Bank. It was supposed to come from Kagumo, Kirogoya, Kutus, go through Kagio, and to Sagana. Your Excellency, we are thankful and the process started. Somewhere, I think because of the resources, they adjusted the BQs. And so the water and sewerage is coming from Kagumo, Kirogoya, Kutus. And then from there, the sewer system is not moving to Kagio and Sagana. Only the water is moving to Kagio and Sagana. Your Excellency, we want to request wakwaniaba ya watu wa upande wa Sagana na ndia na pia upande wa kutus wapate sewerage system. Your Excellency, watu wa mwea pia hawana sewer system. There is no sewer system in the entire mwea. Na mwea Ndiyo, the most populous constituency in Kirinyaga County and also the largest. Your Excellency, we will request that you look into that issue if um, possible. Your Excellency, to Meskia Ukona dams, three or four dams um, in, Kirin, in, in every county. And um, in discussing with the colleagues, there was one particular dam that was supposed to have been done some time back in Gekombo, somewhere up in this constituency of Kirinyaga Central. And uh, we are asking Your Excellency, as you prioritize the dams, that is one of those that can be in a PPP. And because of the population of Kagumo area and Kirogoya, it can actually be one of those most feasible dams, and we ask that you prioritize. The other two dams, we agreed amongst the leaders that we met, that those two other dams for Kirinyaga County, Ziende Upande wa Mwea, Upande wa Uko South Ngariyama, na Uko Chini, Mwea East and West, because of the dryness of the area. So, Your Excellency, uh, that was the request from the leaders on the dams. Your Excellency, kuna barabara 
nyingi sana zilikuwa zimeanzishwa na barabara hizo zimekwama upande wa Mwea kuko na hiyo mutidi kagio ilikuwa ikuwe 65 kilometers only 63% is done tunaomba your excellency if you look into it would be very happy kuna barabara ingine ya PI Murindoko Kiomboni na Ndindiruko hiyo ilikuwa ya 55 kilometers only 12% is done na imestall your excellency upande wa Geshogo kuko na barabara ya PI ya kuenda mbiri Ngiriambu ilikuwa ya 55 kilometers in total only 5% has been done ilianza na ikasimama your excellency upande wa central huku Kirinyaga central kuna barabara ya Kirogoya inaenda Rutue Kianderi Atumbi 60 kilometers hiyo imefanywa asilimia uh, 88% halafu ikakwama haikumalizika kabisa. Your Excellency pia upande wa ndia kuko na barabara ambayo ilipeana wa kandarasi ni ya Sagana, Kathaka, Vigoko, Mururi, Nyamindi na ni 54 kilometers na kazi ile ambayo imefanywa huko nadhani ni feasibility study kwa sababu report inasema ni 2%. Your Excellency ningeomba ya kwamba tunajua pesa ni kidogo lakini sisi tunaamini. Sisi ni watu ambao tunaamini. Mimi nakumbuka ya kwamba Yesu pia alikuwa ameshikwa mahali huko wewe. Alikuwa na multitude ya watu, walikuwa na njaa, walikuwa wamemmsikiza. Vile sisi tulikusikiza wewe. Halafu hakuwa na kitu cha kupatia watu wake. Lakini kulikuwa na mtoto mmoja alikuja na samaki mbili na mikate tano. Na sisi tunajua wewe umepewa na watu wa Kenya na watu wa Kirinyaga na watu wa mali pengine samaki mbili na mikate tano. Tunaamini ya kwamba hiyo pesa itakuja. Ukianza kugawa itaendelea kuongezeka na utabaki na zaidi ya vikapu mbili. Tuna imani. Kwa hivyo kama mna imani watu wa Kirinyaga? Mna imani? Sisi umesikia tuna imani. Kwa sababu tuna imani ya kwamba utaweza ukianza kugawa itaenda ikiongezeka na ubaki na vikapu zaidi ya mbili. Ndio kwa sababu tumeleta maombi yetu ya kazi. Anza na kugawia kerenyaga pesa za barabara, utaona ukitupatia hiyo elfu bilioni moja hivi zitaenda zikiongezeka. Alafu ukipatiana pesa zingine za damu utaona uko na zingine zaidi na ukimaliza kupeleka kwa Kandindinyoro kule Muranga na uende kule Nyeri na uende kule Western na Eastern bado utabaki tuna imani baada ya miaka tano na zaidi ya vikapu mbili. hiyo ndio imani yetu so your excellency we are very grateful and we want to thank you in advance because we know that you will put the resources <laughs> Tumeambua leo tushukuru kabla tujapewa. Watu wa Kirinyaga mnashukuru. Yeah. Mnataka hizo barabara zijengwe. Yeah. Damu tunataka hizo tatu. Yeah. Tunataka sewerage plant yetu imalizike mpaka upande wa Sagana na pia iende Mwea ikipitia Wanguru mpaka Makutano. Yeah. Halafu vile tauni zetu tumeombewa pia na dada yangu sisi lizifanywe. Yeah. Mumeamini ya kwamba akianza kutugawia na nakwambia your excellency ebu jaribu uone. Kesho andika cheki ya Kerenyaga barabara moja. Alafu uone kama Friday hautakuwa umepata zaidi ya kuongezea kule kwingine. Tunaambiwa faith eh, is the object of the things that are not seen. Lakini tunajua ya kwamba sisi tutapata maombi yetu. You've always been very gracious to us. I want to fi finish by thanking you your excellency. Nilikuomba utu support na industrial park Na your excellency tunakushukuru sana kama watu wa kirinyaga Na ukorona tura amosho keria ngado netu muburire ruhi Tunakushukuru sana Because that will be a game changer Not just for kirinyaga county But for the region Your excellency we have put 
aside 250 acres of land. Previously, hiyo shamba ilikuwa imeibiwa. Nilienda kotini, tukangangana, na tukairudisha kwa serikali title iko kwa Kirinyaga County. Your Excellency, nimeongea sana na mawaziri wako. I've been in every office, I'm sure they report lobbying for various things. Tayari, tumepeana shamba, 20 acres from there for the low-cost housing unit. Na tumeambiwa itaanza uh, hivi karibuni. Na nikushukuru low-cost housing ya Kirogoya, tayari wamesign, walikuwa, watu wa, wetu walikuwa wamesha itu wakule NHC, National Housing Corporation, and we hope that it will start anytime soon. Sasa hii ni face ya pili ya kule sagana na pia kuna ingine ya upande wa mwea. Pia katika hiyo industrial park, tuko na sports complex. Tuko na TVET na tuko na social amenities. We want it to be a mixed use uh, industrial center, a climate smart industrial center. Sisi tunakushukuru kwa kutuombea pesa wakati ambao ulikuwa kule Korea na tutashirikiana na ofisi yako kwa sababu ya basic infrastructure tumetafuta investors as i speak to you we have about 10 interested investors already lined up katika siku ya wednesday tutaenda na committees za MCA we have booked an appointment with Tatu City tunaenda kuona vile industrial park zinafanana ndiyo sisi tukufanye upgrade zaidi kushinda ile ya Tatu City. Na tuko na appointment on Wednesday with our MCAs to go and look at Tatu City. Your Excellency, we have banks already lined up to finance the investors to set up the factories. Your Excellency, Hata Cooperatives Mbili za Kirinyaga already are lined up to set up their coffee processing factories at the industrial park just what you have heard about value addition. So we thank you and we thank you in advance for your support and we look forward to working with you going forward. Mimi maneno ya siyasa staongea sana. Lakini tuseme hivi. Tusishinde tukishugulika na distractions ambazo hakuna maali zitatupeleka. Kama vile mweshimu andindi ya mesema. Kama hawa kukuweza walipo kunyanyasa, wamekuwacha nje, wamedhulumu kila mtu ambaye amekuongelesha. Watakuwezaje sasa, umesonga karibu zaidi na mungu, alafu huko na serekali. Watakuwezaje. Wasitutishe na wasikujaribu kukutisha. Hata usijibu, usiwajibu. Wewe wachia food soldiers wako hiyo maneno, I think they are looking for relevance. If they were clever and they are politicians, wangekuwa wanajipanga. Wale wairevu ni mewaona wakipanga laini kwa ofisi ya deputy president. Kwa sababu wanajua huko, hakuna mahali wanaenda. Hao, wasishinde wakitubabaisha sisi, tuko mlengo wa kazi, na tunendelea na kazi miakatano. You have a promise to deliver, and we want to work with you to deliver. You have changed the conversation in this country, Your Excellency. You moved us from empty rhetoric to discussing things that matter to the people on the economy na hapo ndipo tupo Mungu awabariki na tunawashukuru sana kwa kuja na mkuje mara mingi tena Kirinyaga ili tuendelee kupeleka Kenya mbele kwa hayo mengi na machache ningependa kukaribisha naibu wa rais his, his excellency Rigiji, Rigadi, Kashagwa, Akuje, Atuongeleshe. Karibu.